So this is the classic sort of intro to pressure question. Uh, the manometer is how we measure pressures or how we used to measure pressures. Um, and we still use this technique of a tube filled with some kind of fluid to measure pressures quite a bit. Um, but this essentially gives us a lot of the fundamentals of hydrostatics come together in this question. Um, so the basic idea is we have some gas, uh, you know, there's a bunch of little dots of gas in here and they're pushing down on this side. So there's some pressure pushing that way, right? Um, and it's pushing onto this column of mercury. And on the other side, there's some pressure pushing down on this side from atmospheric pressure, right? And it's pushing on the column of mercury. And we really have this balance of pressures that are making this tube of mercury be sort of off uh, kilter like it is. Um, so the first thing we want to do is to be able to identify um, some points in this. We, we want to be able to relate the pressure of the gas to the pressure of the atmosphere. And what we're going to do is use the, the idea of hydrostatic equilibrium. So I know over here, I have some height over here, right? That this is where uh, the, the pressure of the gas is acting at this height, right? Um, I have some other height over here where the pressure of the atmosphere is acting, right? Um, so I'm gonna call this P gas. And then down here, this is this is P atmosphere acting here. And there's some height difference between these two these two lines. That's called H. <clears throat> okay. So the the most fundamental thing to realize is that we have a point here where it's atmospheric pressure, and we have this point here, and these these are connected, right, in the same fluid this point and this point. So I'm gonna call this maybe P1 and this P2. Because they're connected, what hydrostatic pressure says or hydrostatic equilibrium says is that the pressure at that one point is equal to the pressure at this other point, okay? But we also know the pressure at these points from different methods. I know that P1 is actually just atmospheric pressure, right? So that's what's acting there. I know that the pressure at P2 is actually P gas, the pressure acting at the top of the column of the mercury, plus rho g h, that height, and this rho is the density of mercury, right? And so that's what P2 is equal to. It's the, the pressure acting up here, plus the pressure from the weight of all this uh, acting on it. So we can turn this around and we can say that the pressure of the gas in this situation is equal to P naught or P atmospheric minus rho g h. So it's actually the pressure of this gas is actually less than atmospheric pressure, right? Cool. Okay. And, uh, you know, we can actually calculate it out. So we can, we can, we know some of these numbers here. We know that P gas is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 pascals. I might as well draw this as a capital letter because I know pascals is capitalized. Um, <clears throat> minus the density of mercury, which is given in the problem. Um, times uh, the height, which is 10 centimeters, right? 0 0.1 meters, which comes from 16 centimeters minus 10 centimeters. And then times the acceleration due to gravity. And the number I get from that is actually 87.7 kilopascals, okay?